on guys so today we're going to take a look at a watch that is a very obvious homage to a blanc pond 50 fathoms this is the steel dive sd 1952 so let's jump right into the specs and features of this watch this watch boasts a 41 millimeter case diameter it is 15.22 millimeters thick. It has a 52 millimeter lug to lug, and that's that's a pretty long lug to lug, but we'll talk about that later on. Lug width is 20 millimeters. It is powered by an Seiko NH35, um, which as you can see, if you're looking at the dial, there is no date complication. So yes, it does have a ghost date. The crystal is a boxed sapphire crystal with very good AR coating. I hope it's catching it there. You can see the blue. It has 300 meters of water resistance. It has a three o'clock unsigned screw down crown. It has a 120 click unidirectional dive style bezel. Now, I do have to talk about the clicks. They're very positive but at the same time, they're kind of mushy. I know that sounds kind of weird, but to me, Seiko be bezels are always like just bleh, they're just mush and you can't real, really feel tactile individual clicks. You can on this one. However, they're very, I don't know, it's, it's, you can hear the sound. Real good clicks, but they kind of skip over them real quick. Maybe that's what I'm trying to, to say. So it's very easy to go past the 12 o'clock on this uh which everything does line up uh the watch comes with let's just look at what comes in the box because this is where i want to talk about why this is on a rubber strap which it comes with so in the box you get it's just little these are kind of standard aliexpress and that's where this one was purchased boxes that a lot of watches come in so you get a lot you get a lot of stuff for what you're paying you get a little link removal tool that's kind of cool pusher you get the bracelet. Now, the watch does come on the bracelet. You get the manual, the card, all that other kind of jazz, right? Let's set some of this stuff aside. Let's look at this bracelet. Watch does come on the bracelet. This is probably one of the worst bracelets out of all the AliExpress watch brands. Look at the flex in that sucker. Look at the gaps in there and the movement that's look at that look at the play and you can practically bend this sucker into you that's that's one problem okay it does have a mill clasp and and that's cool the other problem is and i should have kept it this way but I, my ocd got the best of me and i had to try to fix it but as you can see let me see i had to file each side of this bracelet just to get it to turn inside the lugs right here otherwise it would stick up you move it up and it would stick up in the air like this and you could barely pull it down so i had to remove the bracelet and then file on both sides just to get it to lay down like a normal bracelet it was horrible and then of course now you can see the, all the 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 file marks and crap like that and it's at that point i'm like oh that's gross let me see what this rubber strap is like that came with it so i take the rubber strap out and this is a very supple silicone strap. This is not a bad strap at all. Uh, so if you guys are going to purchase this watch, uh, I would just take the bracelet off immediately. I think you could purchase, I was on AliExpress recently, I think you could purchase it with just the rubber strap. If it's a little bit cheaper, maybe do that. I would do that or on a NATO or there's some other strap options. I would just purchase it on the rubber strap and rock it like that, man. Because this bracelet, I cannot, express how terrible it is it's junk it's absolute junk um price i paid 179 now i am filming this june of 2023 i think i purchased this watch last summer had a big move so some a lot of my watches that you're going to see here soon went by the wayside for review and and i focused on the move and the family and stuff like that now i'm coming back to it and i'm finally reviewing it and you know what I'm glad I did because at first I was so angry about the bracelet that I didn't even want to mess with this watch. Then I broke it out a couple weeks ago and I said, it was almost like a hidden gem. I was like, oh, I remember this. Let me let me give this another try. And you know what? I really enjoy this watch. It's 
not bad at all. It's really not. Um, if you're into homage watches, if you're not, I get it. But the difference between this, the price difference between this and a Blanc Pond, I just looked up a Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms. They go for about $15,000, okay? I paid $179. If you go on AliExpress now, they're running a sale. Like I said, June 2023, I think it's like $160, $150, 159 $60. So you could save yourself 20 bucks. And it's really not that bad at all. The head of the watch. Bracelet is horrible. Bracelet's horrible. I'm just going to say that. Again, I'll say it again. Bracelet is terrible. Now, to address the long, the, the the overall length of 52 millimeters, that's long for a lot of people. A lot of people like to keep them under 50 minutes, and I totally get that. I have a seven and a half inch wrist, um, and so I can rock it. It doesn't give me any issues. However, what it is is these lugs are very long. These lugs measure from inside here over eight millimeters. So that's the issue. If they were able to shorten these up a bit, maybe bring the strap holes out to the end, shorten them up a little bit, it would wear a lot better. Um, so let's take a look at the case back here real quick. And as you can see, you get the scuba. It's like two tanks, a mask, and flippers. That's Steel Dive's, that's Steel Dive's uh, logo there. It's pretty cool. Um, it says Steel Dive All Stainless Steel Automatic Movement, NH35, Dive 300 meter by Steel Dive. That's think that's laser etched or something. It's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty standard fare. It's not bad at all. Um, let's check out the loom, see what that looks like. All right, guys, so there it is. You get two different color looms on this. You get the blue on the bezel, which is loomed all the way around, and then you get the green in the middle, and it's which is very cool. This they they didn't put a lot on here, so they could have applied more. It does fade fairly quickly. It holds on for a little bit, so it's not too bad, but it's just kind of average. All right, guys, so there it is, the Steel Dive SD1952. What do you guys think about this? Are you into homage watches? Do you hate them? Do you appreciate the value that they offer and you can get similar watches to some of your favorite you know, luxury brands, which are out of control. I think this is a re really well-built watch minus the bracelet. Uh, the head of the watch is is very good. And um, yeah, man, I enjoy rocking it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>